guys and welcome back to the channel for yet another video. That is right, I could literally jump out of my seat. I'm coming back with a story time and I'm going to be telling you guys the story of going to the Hollywood Vampire Sponsor May 20th, 2018. Before I jump into the story, I want to say a massive thank you to my dad for making this happen for me. He knows how big a fan I am of Johnny Depp, Joe Perry, Alice Cooper, Glenn Sobel, and Tommy Hendrickson. To think that I have been in the same room as them twice, it literally does not comprehend in my brain and is one of the best experiences of my life. So thank you, Dad. The morning of the concert was incredibly hectic. I could not sleep that entire night before. I stayed up until 3 a.m. I had to get up at like 7 to get ready and leave my house by 10 to get to my dad's house by 11.30 to leave to Connecticut by noon. But I did not care. I was just so over the moon. I got to my dad's house. I literally ate a donut and we left. This drive took me two and a half hours, but it did not feel like a two and a half hour drive. We were listening to the Hollywood Vampires all the way there. And it was so freaking great. The more I listened to it, the more I got pumped for the show, the more my father got pumped for the show. And it was just absolutely incredible. And there was barely any traffic and it was a great drive. We get there, we check into our hotel because we are gonna stay the night. We eat food. This venue, Foxwoods Resort Casino, is absolutely ginormous. It has everything from a mall, food court, a tattoo place. It is everything in a bag of chips. It had restaurants and we sat down and we ate food. Now mind you, I was incredibly excited, so I did not eat much, but my dad did eat a lot. And then he was like eating food. My dad looked behind me and he saw the drummer for the Hollywood Vampires eating his food, but we didn't bother him because we felt like it was disrespectful for us to bother him while we were eating and while he was eating. And his name is Glenn, so I will put everybody's Instagram handle that I talk about after the video is out. Wait until the end credits to get everybody's Instagram handle, and I highly, highly recommend you follow them. So after we eat, we officially check into our hotel. Like, we just went to the hotel people and said we were here, but we didn't logically check into the hotel room until probably about five-ish. We check into the hotel, now mind you, this was like two hours left until the show, and I'm just freaking mind blown and so like, whoa, what, how, you know? It approaches seven o'clock, and it is time to go down to the actual venue itself. I'm flipping out. I'm just like, bro, broski, let's go. And so we rushed down and, you know, I did not even wait to get merchandise at all. I rushed into the venue and I was on the floor and I kid you not, y'all. I was freaking there. I was there. I was this freaking close to the stage. Here's the stage. Here's the stage, like right there. And here's me. I'm just so freaking close. It's absolutely insane. So it's about a half hour to showtime and I'm freaking hyperventilating and my dad sees me hyperventilating and is like Caitlin you're gonna give yourself a heart attack relax we're taking selfies we're enjoying ourselves we're talking to concert goers and we're talking about Tommy Hendrickson and how he's Amazing His name on Instagram is Disvicious One. He like does a lot of concert 
vlogs and stuff, so we're like laughing about those. And then the show fucking starts. I am just flipping out at this point, and I see Tommy freaking Henriksen walk up to me in his rifle spot, and then I'm like, bro, bro, I am shook at this point. Opening song, Tommy sees me. I'm wearing a fedora on my hat, so I really stick out. He's wearing a somewhat familiar hat that I've seen in um, his concert uh, vlog, and he's pretty much wearing the same style hat that I'm wearing as well. Opening. Do you know what this man did? The opening song, he points at me, and I will insert a clip right here and show you guys. So shocked and so mind blown at that. And I'm just like, oh, this can't get any better. But it does, but it does. An audience member taps me on the shoulder. We're on the same side. And an audience member taps me on the shoulder and is like, girl, here you go. Passes me a guitar pick. I'm like, who's guitar? Who's guitar pick is it? The guy points out. And it's Tommy freaking Henry's guitar pick. <sighs> At this point. I'm flipping out. I'm just like, what? And I'm just like shocked. Tommy then goes and throws me a guitar pick. Me being the idiot that I am, I end up dropping the pick. <laughs> so then I go, fuck, I dropped it. <laughs> Tommy sees with his own two eyes that I drop it, then goes, picks up another one, and hands me a guitar pick. Like, literally, passes it to me. At this point, bitch, I am beyond dead. I'm watching the show, he keeps pointing at me, keeps playing up with me, like, keeps, like, playing over me, and I'm just like, what the hell is happening? Then, the finale of the show was fucking mind-blowing because Tommy motherfucking Henriksen did something that I will never forget and I will always cherish for the rest of my life. This man comes over to me during the finale song, which is schools out, slash another brick on the wall. Comes over, comes over, casually comes over. Mind you, he's supposed to be singing, okay? He's supposed to be singing back up, but he comes over plays over me, over me, over me, me. Bends down, because I go like this, like I'm reaching my hand out, like thinking he can touch me, but uh, because he's playing the fucking guitar, like I'm such an idiot, like I wasn't thinking of that. Reach out, and then I'm about to put my hand down. He goes and bends down and lets me touch his guitar. Everyone in my section died. Everyone in my section was like, nice. And just like, at this point, I'm just like, bro. I was like so casual about it though. I was like, yo, just touched Charlie Hendrickson's guitar 
and then I'm realizing what I actually just did, and then I just collapsed. I'm like, oh my god, what just happened? And, um, one of the best experiences of my life, like honestly, and something I will never trade for anything in this entire world. But that is the end of the story time. If you did, please give me a big fat thumbs up and let me know if you want more story times in the future. And let me know what you want me to talk about in the future because I'm always looking for new video ideas. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this story time. Don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't to join the family. Click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video so you, you never miss out. Anyways, I love you all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you.